I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. No, no, no. Can I that doll? <laughs> no. Can I that doll? No, he's that doll? Because I don't want to put out any false information when we go to court. It's not a face that only a woman can love. God is a loving, caring, wonderful God. And when he made one, he made somebody to love him. And here's my last receipt. We've already put it on. Taller, bigger. Mm hmm There they go. The Smiths, everybody. Everybody, the Smiths, not Will and Jada, <laughs> the other Smiths. So I guess what? Keep on recording. Here you go. Take a picture of this one. I gotta get a better, a better board. <laughs> Hello, how y'all doing? This is your boy Jedediah, and I need y'all to do me a favor and share the live. I also need you all to tag anybody in the hundreds. <laughs> oh, they'll be hearing that soon enough, not today. So give me one second, y'all. I'm just trying to pull the stuff up because it was on my screen and it went down. I play this for you while I'm looking for it. So you can have some kind of sound to see how dramatic it's going to be. One second, one second, one second. Give me all a chance to come in. I'm trying to pull this up. Uh, could you guys do me a favor and put Michael Smith's background back on my, put Michael Smith's background in that try on track, please. Put his background in the trying to try. I can't find it. And I need it. And I need it right now. I thought I had it, but it's not there. So I need it. Y'all give me one second. Share the live. Resource the work. I've already told you guys that the worst thing that they could have did was press me. Because now I'm on focus. I'm focused. And I wasn't even going to release a lot of stuff, but now I'm going to be putting out more and more and more. And now they fucked up even worse because now we have been given a $20,000 pledge so that I can continue and finalize my investigation. Now I'm telling everybody, boy, I swear to God. It's war, bro. The reason why a lot of these people are here tonight is because of your sins. No good sins. The woman has that does not. Matter of fact, she sits on the board. Tell them about the moment since you got stepped in. Tell them. Was it legal? Was it legal? Was it legal? Was it legal? You had no high school diploma. You had no high school diploma. She told you she didn't want you in that position. She didn't want you in that position. You used to be a good man. Now, Michael, you ain't shit. No, hell no. You ain't gonna disrespect that woman like that. 
You lied on your work application. You lied on your work application. You a predator. You lied on your school work application. Yeah, but you lied. Okay, but you lied on your work application. You lied on your application. Lying application. Y'all remember that? He grooming girls. You grooming babies. But you grooming babies talking to her. But you grooming kids talking to her. You beating up old people, but you talking to her. But you talking to her. Boy, shut your ass up. Man, I can't stand these niggas, boy. You want to you wanna help being mayor? You will never be elected again in your goddamn life. Connect the dots, the D-O-T-T-S, the dots. Your ass is grass. You a clown. You begging. How much you looking for her to give you? She ain't fucking you. She don't like you. And you ain't getting no money. Nah, nah. You ain't going to get none. Get your ass back. You ain't going to stop disrespecting them. Stop disrespecting them. Michael, remember when you want to help being mayor? Now you'll never be elected. Beating up your grandmother. Grooming little girls. You got fired for it. Lying on your school application. That's why you got fired. And your private accounts, we know that you threatening people with them anonymous ass accounts, Michael. Get another computer. Your IP address is marked. Smiths, everybody, the Smiths, not Will and Jada, <laughs> the other Smiths. So I guess what? <coughs> Keep on recording. <laughs> Here you go. Take a picture of this one. Okay. okay. So with that being said, Gary or Carver, somewhere in the hundreds, is where Michael Smith works now. We're gonna make sure that they're put on notice because I don't think he should be around no children. I don't think he should ever be elected to a damn thing in his life. And I think he should have learned a while ago, keep your fucking mouth shut. And when you piss me off, I only come harder. So thanks for letting me know. You watch, bitch. AKA Black. I hope that you all can hear me. I'm not going to wait. Um, I am just coming on here specifically to inform you all of where we are at this particular moment and hopefully to discuss with federal agencies, statewide agencies, and now county agencies that are doing an investigation in collaborative efforts with advocates and citizens and officials. But that doesn't mean that I can't get new information. And it doesn't mean that I can't be petty as the fuck and that ain't nobody off limits. And so, for example, let's get somebody low on the totem pole so you can get an image of what I mean when I say this. This is something that I was talking talk, that I, I left alone while Michael, for example, because we didn't talk about this, but in a meeting or, or, or a dinner. So this is Michael Smith. <coughs> Michael Smith, as you all know, is one of her consistent trolls. Michael Smith literally said, for many that don't know, Sunday night around 9 p.m., I was mauled by my dog that I rescued a year ago. And I am in full, I am, I am on a full recovery. I thank God for his protection. I left the left picture was the first was the left picture was the first picture after leaving this hospital the right picture is the most recent picture doctor told me the dog was inches away from hitting the main artery in my eye i thank you all for your continued prayers boy he got fucked up but i'm gonna look at things like this i'm gonna look at things like this with my team we're gonna comb everything and look for new information. What didn't we uncover so I can report it to y'all? 
and I'm going to go as high as the information goes, or I'm going to go as a low as the information holds. So this is the example. Since Michael was such a big troll, and remember, y'all, I'm upset. Take it how you take it. I'm going to give y'all what I got, and you do what you want to do with it. And I'm going to learn how to screen share so I can just put it directly on my screen. But upon the investigation, trying to figure out what dog did this man rescue? What dog gnawed him? I don't know. But when I tell you anybody can get it, I mean that anybody can get it. Because when we did our research and that we're going to continue to do it, so far, I think we might have found the dog. <laughs> I don't think it was no dog. But is this Miss Smith? How is it that this man has been so free to walk around and disrespect black women? Well, Michael, with the way you talk to women and the way you conduct yourself, I think I figured out what happened to your face. <sighs> Damn. So this child groomer, this man that has been disrespectful to everybody on the opposition this complete lying piece of shit who was once a trustee in the village of dixmore who once successfully ran for mayor who asked me to help him i'm on demon time now mm. And everybody that fucked with y'all, they fucked with me. So far, we don't find no dog. But when you look at this face, and you consider that mouth, well, damn. Yeah. Damn. Just the update. Don't be a flyer that will be put on the page. Oh, damn, they ugly. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I forgot to put that off my screen and hit me again. I had a natural reaction. Because I just messed up. All right. Just a defamation of Hold on one second, y'all. First thing that I want to bring y'all attention to, if you guys haven't seen it already. As I was given a message by Michael Smith. So I want you all to get this message. I am going to have to learn how to screen share today. This is Michael Smith, ladies and gentlemen. And this is his message to me. I played some of it, but I got the rest. Let go. My character. I'm going to tell you by word of mouth to cease and desist. I've already spoken to my attorney because that Matt Life legal plan gives me attorneys free, free of charge. Huh? This nigga only talking about he got free lawyers. <laughs> okay, Michael. So I have received your cease and desist order. I have understood what you said that you have free lawyers with your Matt Life plan. But my free lawyer said, we're ready. So with that being said, fuck your cease and desist. Are you really going to sue a homeless man? <laughs> okay, so now I want to talk about this in a moment. I'm going to try to put up his background. But who is Michael Smith, if you don't know? He has been one of Mayor Hinyard's favorite henchmen, talking shit to all kind of people, being very disrespectful. He said he don't play about his family. You know what he's going to do? Foul a lawsuit. Oh, my God. That didn't even go hand in hand. But anyway, we've already put up the pictures, and so y'all got those receipts. But there's been some new details. If you didn't know, I put up a reward of about $500 to $1,000 because we got some money in the bank. And literally, this for information that would allow me to know if Michael Smith, according to the rumors that we have had, still works in the school. Why is that important? Why am I looking for his background? I'm looking for Michael Smith's background because he lied on an application after being fired. Well, he lied on the application after being fired from the school because he was charged with child grooming. Child grooming, child grooming. 
He was fired from a school after they found out that he was charged, that he didn't put on an application. He is a dangerous man. He is a predator. And guess what? We got to keep our foot on the next. And so I re reignited my press and my fight. But this is what Jedediah, I mean, this is what Michael does today, one hour ago. This is the guy, Jedediah, who continues to harass me and my family, spreading libel, slander, and defamation of character of my family and myself. I want him placed on notice for his continual harassment. I want my family to see who he is as well as my friends. Please take notice of him and his action. Thanks. He said that I'm harassing him, that I'm putting out libel. I've not put out any law based false facts. And I want you guys to be aware of one important fact. He wanted to notify his family and his friends. As of last check, a few moments ago, nobody even liked the post. <laughs> I don't know if his family and friends, I don't know if his family and friends are still asleep. I don't know if they're working, if they're unavailable, but damn, it's been almost an hour. Not one family member, not one friend seen this post, like this post, spoke on this post, said they have your back. Maybe they know how much of a creep you are too. And so guys, we already told you that in our investigation, we did discover that he in fact was bit by a dog that he rescued because he tried to retch out and disrespectfully touch his wife. So she was not the man dog. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? She was not the one who gave him that face, but we do have the proof of what we said. However, anyway, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all why my advocacy is so cold because they be mad when I get the resources, but they don't pay attention to what I do with them. We put out a reward for $500 to $1,000, and guess what? I'm already on here to tell y'all I wanted everybody to know that this child grooming disrespectful man who have intimidated children and other things on record lying on application is working potentially at one or two schools either gary or carver but we do know and we have we have been able to get a smaller space that he works somewhere in around in the hundreds around roseland or the alt gale garden neighborhood hell i might get both of them this reward but we got tips and now we need to pursue them so if you have a child in carver if you have a child in gary in the hundreds you all need to be careful because there's a child groomer that may be there and he may not have told y'all or he might not he might have lied on another application and then on top of that on top of that if he didn't tell on the application and he is a dangerous to a danger to children we're trying to figure out why is he working in education out there disrespecting people and chasing people the way he's been doing on behalf of embattled Mayor Tiffany Haynard. Hen Yard. So guess what? Your free lawyers will have to deal with my law team. I don't think you're ready for that. All right? So y'all do me that favor. Sound the alarm to all parents and they got kids in Carver and in Gary. I got to get this that school name again. We got a groomer on the loose. Okay? So this is a very quick report from your boy Jedediah, a.k.a. Black Michael. I'm on your ass. We're going to get everybody. I'm going to have my team again do all of the research over from the rooter to the tutor. We starting at the bottom of the totem pole. And, bitch, you at the bottom. That's why we're starting with you. So guess what? We're coming to Carver. We're coming to Gary. And if this man works at any school, with the background he has and the actions he has, I guess we need to make sure that they know that they need to fight. Oh, you on mine too? You want to come on? Now, you know what? Don't be talking to me like that because when you say it, it sounds upset. You're not my type. Too fucking ugly. But I'll let you come on if you want to talk. You decline. I'll give you the opportunity again, bitch, because you said you was on my ass. I was about to get off and say my wonderful saying. You said that I watch your profile. No. You even said decline. I'm going to give you one more time to come on with your friendless, familyless, loveless, dumb ass. Because I don't know what you think. Oh, let's go. All right. We'll do it one more time. I'm adding you. Decline. Shut your bitch ass up. And since you know what? You probably want to try to say that I'm a liar 
And then I'm just playing games. Let's try one more time. Oh, wait, now your bubble's gone. Michael Smith, you are welcome. And it says decline. Okay, because we keep receipts over here, bitch. You in that school? Record it. My, my name is Jedediah Brown. I'm a homeless resident in Dalton. I have a law team. Michael Smith is a man that has been charged with child grooming. He lied on an application going to another school. He is very abusive verbally to women. And they got real jobs. Oh, yeah, there you go. I allowed him to come on this live and speak to me, but he declined. He, de he declined now four times, okay? So far, he's recording me. He wants his friends and family, to which nobody has yet replied, to know that I, what I am doing. What, exposing the man who calls himself exposing other people? And if you look at my face, it's very much more palatable. It's more, you can stomach this face a lot more than you can stomach that face. And understand this, that face was ugly before the dog bit his ass for trying to beat on his wife. But I'm gonna tell y'all this, I don't know, because guess what, at the end of the day, that is a face that only a mother can love. But if you actually be honest, because I don't want to put out any false information when we go to court, it's not a face that only a woman can love. God is a loving, caring, wonderful God. And when he made one, he made somebody to love him. And here's my last receipt. We've already put it on. Taller, bigger. Mm -hmm. There they go. The Smiths, everybody. Everybody, the Smiths, not Will and Jada, <laughs> the other Smiths. So I guess what? Keep on recording. Here you go. Take a picture of this one. I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. What was I swear? I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.